Darren here with Engadget. We're at SID 2011 at the Samsung booth. We're taking a look at some electro wedding displays. These are the fruits of the at Liqui Vista uh, acquisition, and this is the color reflective screen, and this is a 6.2 inch screen. This is just marginally larger than the 5.7 inch screen shown off by uh, Mirasol, subsidiary of Qualcomm, and uh, there's a 800 by 600 resolution. So the resolution is a little bit smaller than the uh, 1024 by 768 on the Mirasol display, uh, and you can see that it's, it's obviously a little bit more pixelated when, he's, when the screen comes back here. It's taking a break. For me, so you have to build it from the bottom up. Right. And is there any? Uh, I know you said when you crank the the refresh rate, it's what you stack as well as you get power savings. Like, what is it if you've got everything rolling as it should? Is there what's the power differential between electro wedding and standard? It's like it's the same difference. Do they use the same power well, it, it, it depends. If you look purely at, uh, say, say for example, you take a case of a, a transmissive LCD. Mm -hmm. What you see right now is transmissive LCD, if you look at the backlight, the backlight takes about 80% of the power of the entire module. <laughs> now, take that and consider the fact that you have two to three times more light to mm -hmm. meaning you effectively have less. less uh, it's, a, it's a significant saving over, over, over LCD. Oh, is that what it is? And it's, it's, it's even more so when you say you grab a fully reflective display and don't need the backlight. Right. And then you take away a large part of that.